let's have a more detailed look at the passenger journey and key touch points with CETA Border Management Solutions. Pre-Departure The passenger may book through a travel agent. Their booking is created on the Global Distribution System GDS, and Airline Reservation System ARS. Alternatively, the passenger may book direct with an airline or through a non-airline booking site, such as Expedia or Apodo. Again, their booking would be created on the GDS and ARS. A passenger name record, PNR, is generated by the airline reservation system from the passenger's booking and is transmitted to the government 72 hours before departure and then at set intervals until departure. Airlines may send this data using the CETA API PNR gateway, which acts as an interface between airlines and governments. The CETA API PNR gateway validates the PNR data and filters the information, excluding any fields protected by data privacy authorities, before sending it for storage and risk assessment. CETA Intelligence and Targeting will perform risk assessment with any new data. Checks can include lookups against government watch lists and profiles, as well as passport and visa databases and Interpol checks. If any checks fail or matches are made, hits are raised for government officers to process. Government officers can review any hits generated before deciding on whether an action will be taken against the passenger. They now have time to organize the action, such as an interception or surveillance. Passenger check-in Some passengers may check in via the web or an app and either print or download their boarding passes. As part of this process, passengers must also declare their document information. This is sent to the government to be checked in real time by CETA Advanced Passenger Processing APP. If there are any problems, the passenger is directed to check in at the airport. Passengers may also be required to submit health declarations and certificates to the government before travelling. This enables the government to include a passenger's health status in the risk assessment process. The passenger can also check in via a self-service kiosk, which uses a passport reader to capture document details. This information is sent to the government to be checked in real time by the CETA APP system. If there are any problems, meaning they cannot board, the passenger is referred to a check-in agent. Alternatively, the passenger may check in with an agent at a check-in desk. At check-in, the agent swipes the passenger's passport using a passport reader. As with web, app and self-service kiosk check-in, the DCS sends the document and flight information in real time to CETA APP in the countries that the passenger is transiting through and staying in. CETA APP checks against watch lists and government databases such as passports and visas. Most passengers are cleared to fly, in which case CETA APP returns an OK to board directive. CETA APP detects and rejects errors in the data, such as invalid fields or implausible dates. These sometimes occur because of reader errors or keying errors. For example, if the passport was not machine readable and the data was manually entered. In this case, CETA APP asks the check-in agent to correct the data. CETA APP returns a Do Not Board directive if the passenger has inadequate documentation such as a missing visa, is using a lost or stolen passport, or poses a high security risk. Sometimes the government needs more information to be able to make a decision, and so it returns a Contact Government directive to the airline. In this case, the check-in supervisor calls the government contact centre. If the contact centre is able to resolve the issue, it overrides the negative boarding decision and allows the passenger to fly. Otherwise, the passenger needs to resolve the problem before trying to fly again. Government officers can review any hits generated 
before deciding on whether an action will be taken against the passenger. They now have time to organize the action, such as an interception or surveillance. The airline reservation system transfers passenger data to the departure control system, DCS, up to 24 hours before departure and continues to send any updates that occur. Airport security. The passenger goes to the outbound primary line where an officer checks their documentation and conducts identity verification. Both the passenger and their hand luggage undergo screening by airport security. Passenger departure. The passenger enters the departure area and boards their flight. Flight departure. Shortly after the flight has taken off, the DCS sends an advanced passenger information API message to CETA Intelligence and Targeting through the CETA API PNR gateway. This flight manifest contains basic flight information and document details for all passengers and crew. The CETA API PNR gateway validates the message and filters the information excluding any fields protected by data privacy authorities. API records are linked to any received PNR and APP records before a standard flight data record is sent for storage and risk assessment. CETA Intelligence and Targeting will perform risk assessment with any new PNR, API or DCS data. As with PNR data, government officers can review any hits generated before deciding on whether an action will be taken against the passenger. They now have time to organize the action, such as interception or surveillance. Some data is only available after the passenger has arrived at the airport, such as baggage details and the actual seat assignment. This is known as DCS data and is sent when it's available. Passenger arrival. After disembarking the plane, passengers proceed to the primary line. Eligible passengers may use a CETA ABC kiosk to complete necessary customs and health documentation. Eligible passengers can use the CETA ABC gates to cross the border. A passenger's passport is read before they enter the gate. A facial image is taken to confirm the passport is valid. The passenger risk assessment then determines if they exit the gate or are requested to step aside for further processing. A passenger may also cross the border using an immigration desk. Here, the primary line officer uses the CETA entry exit system to check their documentation and risk assessment result. When a target has been identified, they're taken to the secondary line for further questioning. Passengers leave the primary line and proceed to the customs channels. In the case of passengers profiled as suspected smugglers, customs may intercept the passengers and their bags, since their bag tag ID is known. All capabilities required to operate such an end-to-end -end risk assessment process can be provided by CETA, including all modes of transport, air, sea, land and rail, all the facilities, systems and business change required for multi-agency passenger analysis units, PAU, also known as passenger information units, targeting centers or contact and command centers, real-time geographical information systems GIS, to track vessels and overlay risk insights and other required dashboard and visualizations for users. <laughs>